Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. Last weekend, I got my digital copy of Josh Howard's T-Bird and Throttle Number 2. And after reading T-Bird and Throttle Number 2, I can honestly say it's one of the best comics of 2019. Now, before T-Bird and Throttle Number 2 picks up where Number 1 left off, we get a look at the early days after the engine embedded itself in Mitch's chest. And in these flashback sequences, we get a look at Mitch's past working at Starlink, his relationship with his wife, and some references to where he got the inspiration for the name T-Bird, which came from his wife and how she was made to feel safe in the back of that old T-Bird, which denotes something as related to their relationship and how he felt safe with her, with him. So I saw where he got that inspiration there as related to the name and his relationship. And we get a really, really fun sequence that takes jabs at superhero costumes over the years. And one of the costumes really pays homage to the Golden Age and the Silver Age with the um, leather mask and a little cape. So that really took me back to the Golden Age and the Silver Age and had some hints of Shazam. The second costume really reminded me a lot of the 1970s Trans Am Thunder Chicken that some people call it and it had some references to Phoenix so I saw some references there as related to those two things and there was a third costume that really made me laugh because that costume really took a jab at all of the 90s craziness with a lot of those 90s costumes with the belts, the pouches, the leg belts, and the shoulder pads. And all of that outrageousness was cool back in the 90s, but when you look at it now, it really makes you laugh because those costumes were absolutely ridiculous back then. And Mitch gets a good laugh at that costume as we laugh about those costumes from back then. Now, Josh does a brilliant job of delving deeper into the mysteries of the character's past before taking us back to the present. And in the present, after the events of T-Bird and Throttle Number 1, Mitch is recovering from the beating he received from the hipsters and SJWs at the end of T-Bird and Throttle Number 1. And after waking up in his former partner's apartment, we find out what's troubling Mitch, and as the comic progresses, we get more insight into what drives Mitch to be a hero these days and how it ties to those mysteries regarding the engine, Emily's troubles at school and her strained relationship with her father, and some clues to the mysteries regarding Mitch's work at Starlink and how it relates to the Moon Men. Now, there's a lot in this comic, and I really don't want to spoil it because the mystery is so good, I don't want to give away too many details regarding it because I want the readers to go out here and discover what is so great about the mysteries in this comic. And what I'll tell you is that everything that you read in number zero and number one gets built up on in a very well-crafted way. Josh does a great job with the storytelling here, and I get a Hitchcock vibe from the mystery he is developing in this story. And I get those notes. It reminds me, again, a lot of Alfred Hitchcock and the things he would do with his mysteries. And Josh does an amazing job with this mystery as we get more questions answered from the zero issue and the first issue. We get we ask more questions about what's going on. And that's what makes this a very compelling comic to read. And it's the kind of comic that reminds me of the comics I used to buy back in the 1980s, where you would have these story arcs that were part of the overreaching arc. And just when you thought you knew what was going on in one issue that you're holding in your hand right there, you would have to go back to the back issues to find out what that meant in a previous issue. And that's all part 
of great comic book storytelling when you are telling a great story in the comic the person is holding in their hand and that motivates them to go back to the back issues because after I read T-Bird and Throttle number two I had to go back to number one and number zero and that's when things were starting to really make sense and as I was reading those back issues more stuff in the art was coming out I noticed a fun Scooby-Doo cameo in T-Bird and Throttle number one that was just fun I had missed it when I would read it the first couple of times but as I read it for about the fourth or fifth time that's when I started to notice a lot of the fun details Josh put in the background of that comic and that's all part of great storytelling in that when you have a comic that you're holding in your hand it makes you go back to the back issues and then you start noticing all the fun stuff that is in the backgrounds of the panels and Josh does an amazing job with the panels in T-Bird and Throttle the overall series but number two has some really great panels in, in it where we get these incredible visuals where there's all of this nuance. There was one scene where Amy is talking to Mitch before she um, leaves for work. And I know there was a great contrast in those panels. And there was another great set of panels with where T-Bird is um, with the Moon Men. And th these are some great panels here. And the art just pops. And the whole thing is that in addition to just have, being very bold and dynamic art, it tells a great story and the story is just there's so much nuance in there that you have to look at this comic more than one time this is not one of those comics you're going to be reading in 20 minutes this is a comic you're going to have you're going to want to read two or three times or four times and you're always going to notice something new and something different and that's what a great comic does a great comic makes you not only want to read it once it makes you want to read it again and again and you're, you're learning you're getting more and more out of the story and you're enjoying the story because there's just so much there and with with this comic t-bird and throttle this book is a classic as i see it because this is old school comic book storytelling and it makes things fresh for the 21st century i mean this is the kind of comic that we need to have in comic shops right now if we had more comics like this we would have more readers going to pick up comics because this comic does everything a comic book is supposed to do. It has an incredibly compelling story. It has rich, multi-dimensional characters. It has very bold, dynamic, inspired art where you can just see the love and the heart on every page. And this is the kind of comic you really, you just, you, you anticipate getting the next issue of so you can see the story arc completely completed. And I highly recommend you go out and pick up T-Bird and Throttle from the Josh's website and the Indiegogo page because this is one of the best comics of 2019. And as I see it so far, the year is not complete, I see it as the best comic of 2019. This is, this is one of the, this is just mass, a masterpiece of a comic book. And the second issue, it makes you want to go and get that third issue. And I definitely am going to go pick up the third issue of T-Bird and Throttle when Josh announces the Indiegogo. I'm definitely going to be putting in a pledge for that one. And while I've bought digital in the past, this time I'm going to go get myself some paper copies of T-Bird and Throttle because I want a paper copy of this classic in my collection and I highly recommend this comic. This is one you definitely have to get and it's one that I highly recommend. This one gets my highest recommendation because this this comic is everything a comic fan would want in a comic. It's a great comic. It does a great job of delving deeper into the mystery set up in issue number one and number zero and this is the kind of comic I used to pick up regularly at the newsstand every Friday morning before I went to school and the comic that when I after I read it at lunch had me counting down the days until I could get my hands on the next issue in the next next month and this is the kind of comic again that has me counting down the next days until Josh 
does the next Indiegogo and I can't wait to put in a pledge for it and I believe you definitely need to pick this one up because T Bird and Throttle is a as I see it up there with some of the best comics out there and this is one you just can't miss and I urge you to definitely pick up T Bird and Throttle from Josh's website and get yourself one of the best comics of 2019 now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, E Steam Goddess of. Elle's aspiring angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this action packed all new E Steam series adventure. Get E Steam Goddess of in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.